it's a, a very important and timely initiative, especially since uh, there were a lot of expectations with regard to the possibility of physical meetings. However, the second wave and generally from time to time, unstable COVID-19 situation in our countries deprived us from the opportunity to have more breaks in our everyday activities. But first of all, let us highly appreciate the endless enthusiasm of Ms. Purnima Anand and her forward-looking initiatives, which find well-deserved attention and gratitude in India as well as in Russia, including through the dedicated engagements with the media and even high-level events. So I would like to personally thank you for your uh, endeavors. As you are suggesting, um, we are crossing the 15th, uh, 15th anniversary of BRICS. Uh, there may be some variation with regard to particular memorable dates. For example, it was just 13 BRICS summit, which took place recently in September. But in fact, it doesn't matter too much, since we always used to say that BRICS is not an outcome, it's a process. And uh, it would be more practical to assess its achievements through this perspective. We all know that the current uh, Indian presidency in BRICS has made tremendous job in contributing around 100 events, including on high and highest level. Importantly, it became another landmark in the promotion of the Five Nations Strategic Partnership to help the establishment of a more just and equal multipolar world based on the international law and uh, the central role of the United Nations, as well as to contribute to the efforts of the international community to fight COVID-19 and support a wide range economic recovery for the benefit of our nations. In this context, uh, the uh, global reputation of BRICS is naturally growing since our countries managed to set up an efficient interaction on the whole spectrum of vital international agenda against constantly turbulent environment. International security keeps facing serious challenges leading to the degradation of the strategic stability system. The withdrawal of the US and its allies from Afghanistan created a new crisis, which potentially can even more negatively affect global and regional security. That explains why our countries are paying so much attention to this problem. All in all, this situation uh, is a result of uh, irresponsible attempts to impose values and decisions from outside without the due consideration of historical uh, uh, and uh, traditional values of other, other nations. It's clear that the precondition for peaceful and coherent development of international relations is to ensure coexistence of countries with different political and social systems, national interests and moral values under the universally recognized international law and the UN Charter, including non-interference in domestic affairs and respect of sovereignty. Equal cooperation doesn't have any place for illegal and illegitimate unilateral sanctions and disinformation wars. It's important to maintain and further develop mutually respectful, constructive and efficient interaction and strengthen multipolar system comprising of independent centers of economic growth and political influence and transforming to adapt aspirations and growing profiles of developing countries. That's what we stand for in BRICS. Our practical cooperation is based on the principles of consensus and flexible integration, meaning that we go ahead with various uh, ideas only if everyone is ready. Up to the moment, we have managed to establish more than 70 mechanisms of interaction, which represent a very solid common ground for all five countries. Ministerial tracks include foreign policy and NSA's level coordination, health, energy, trade, and many others. In our dialogue against COVID-19 pandemic, we call upon the global community to refrain from any attempts to politicize the topic that leads to disintegration rather than a unification of endeavors to eliminate this challenge. We have launched progressive discussions on mutual recognition of vaccines, regulation of medicines, ensuring access to vaccines, implementation of the South African initiative to establish a vaccines research center, as well as to promotion of the Russian proposal of an early warning system to prevent epidemics. 
In line with that, BRICS countries are supportive of the Indian South African idea for a vaccine related WTO TRIPS waiver, as well as the Russian call to establish green corridors for anti COVID pharma production to be free from any restrictions or sanctions. We coordinate on the same in a big way in the framework of G20, where we also stand together for a balanced approach to climate change issues, uh, which should respect national obligations under Paris Agreement, as well as national circumstances and development needs, especially in the developing countries. We have started implementation of the Economic Partnership Strategy 2025, as well as a broad digital agenda, including the Partnership for the New Industrial Revolution, Big Data, Digital Health. President Putin also offered to launch an artificial intelligence track. As a matter of proud, we are highlighting the progress achieved by the New Development Bank, which is funding around 80 infrastructure projects uh, at the estimated cost of uh, 30 billion US dollars. A very good news is that bank started its expansion with Bangladesh, UAE, and Emirate, uh, and uh, Uruguay as first new members. It would eventually lead to the desired diversification of the global financial institution system and ultimately increase the role of developing countries in the global governance. Even today, the NDB is a well-reputed global financial institution. Currently, it enjoys AA-plus long-term credit rating by Fitch and Standard & Poor's, as well as AAA by, by Japan credit, credit rating. We are closely coordinating efforts on a wide range of uh, the current global and regional matters, including new challenges and threats. The leaders endorsed the BRICS plan of action of the counterterrorism strategy. We are cooperating closely on cyber and international information security issues. Among the important achievements of the Indian presidency is adoption of the interagency remote satellite constellation, which would further expand frontiers of the five party partnership, extending the use of space technologies for the sake of well being of our nations. In general, despite the pandemic, the Indian presidency, with the support of Russia and other uh, partners, managed to keep BRICS on its track in proceeding to the goal of a constructive policy centrism and expanding practical cooperation, helping to broaden common ground in a big way. And what is also important to know about BRICS is that all range of activities of this association is designed to support relevant global efforts and to contribute to a unified agenda, but it is not targeted against anyone. That's why we believe that the Indian presidency main topic, building up cooperation based on continuity, consolidation and consensus is extremely relevant. In fact, this is a priority for the whole international community and BRICS is playing a crucial role in bringing it forward. Thank you very much.